on June 19, 2020, residents of Wayne County gathered to celebrate Juneteenth. Organized by the Worcester Orville NAACP and Second Baptist Church of Worcester, the 2020 Juneteenth Liberation March for Black Lives attracted an estimated 600 to 1,000 participants. Historically, Juneteenth was celebrated in Texas as Jubilee Day in commemoration with the 1865 emancipation of the last enslaved people in Texas. Juneteenth celebrations began in 1866, but were not officially recognized until Texas declared it a state holiday in 1980. Since then, 46 other states have declared Juneteenth a state holiday. Ohio officially recognized the holiday beginning in 2009. While Juneteenth celebrations traditionally included cookouts, parades, and a range of other celebratory activities, this year's holiday was unique. Not only did Worcester's March take place as part of the Black Lives Matters protests sweeping the globe, but it also occurred during the COVID-19 pandemic. To remember this historical moment, members of the community helped the Wayne County Historical Society document Juneteenth 2020 with videos, photos, and interviews with March participants. This is Nell Reardon, and I am here to document the June 19th, 2020 uh, Juneteenth March and celebration. It's an exciting opportunity for our community to come together and really put the issues of the day, uh, bring them forth. See, folks, this is during a pandemic, and I do not see a single person here not with a mask on. We're going to try our best to maintain distancing. So we're going to have people go, wait a little bit, go behind them, so on and so forth, okay? Thank you all for wearing masks. Uh, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. learned about Juneteenth many, 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 many years ago <laughs> when I was quite young. My, uh, my grandmother was a teacher in the segregated schools of Virginia way back, and I learned a lot of things from her. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things I learned about was Juneteenth. Juneteenth was the, uh, really marks the true end of slavery in our country. And it, it was primarily because the people in Texas in particular, most of the black people in Texas did not know anything about the Emancipation Proclamation, mm -hmm. did not know that they were free for about two years after uh, the document was signed because their slave owners didn't tell them. Mm -hmm. And they continued to work as slaves until the Union Army finally got to Texas and liberated them for true, true. Wow. <laughs> and so that, that's the origin of Juneteenth. We're coming together. We're going to make some change. And hopefully, whenever you look back on this in history, you're going to see that that was true. I think this is an absolutely phenomenal day here with all my friends. Um, proud to be here with you now. Proud to be here with my good friend Lawrence Walker and uh, the NAACP and the folks here at Second Baptist Church. Um, looking forward to uh, walking up to the to the square and having a, a peaceful uh, assembly and uh, enjoying each other's company, remembering George Floyd and uh, just doing the right thing today. I am more excited than we're
where it's considered. Is that right, Mark? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I just did not expect this many people. I don't know why I didn't, but it just like makes my heart feel so good. Sometimes when you're away and you're in your own little corners of the world, in your house, you forget that just because of the few that are in the world doing crazy stuff that there's just this many who are loving on everyone. Way to go, Worcester. Make me proud. If you live in a house, everybody's house matters. But when a house is on fire, right. the fire department comes to that one house. Ladies and gentlemen, black lives are on fire. Black lives. and killed him and after he was dead still stayed there for over two minutes on his neck and because people were able to see this now because it was on TV because there were so many cameras all around town now those who have never experienced it have been able to see what we mean by black lives matter it's just a very good time to do it the messages were excellent. I think we really got a lot out of it. And hopefully we're not down there again for that situation, but I can't say we won't be. But I know at that moment, it was empowering to the whole community. And hopefully we got all got something out of it and we can keep working together to better the relationship of people of all different races within this community, within this state, within this country. I was very impressed with that march. First of all, with the orderliness, uh, with the cooperation of the Worcester Police Department, but most of all, with the number of people who were there. In my experience, it is 
the largest crowd, the largest group I've ever seen at that kind of a gathering. And it spoke to me of our true community in terms of their support and their um, their antagonism toward racism. I think here in the near future, we're gonna see a change. And I'm praying upon that. Mm -hmm. I think right now there's enough people involved through business, through sports, through all the different avenues that are reflecting on this and making an attempt to adjust these things and to make things better. I think that's all going to become something through the death of George Floyd. Um, I'm hoping that we will all start taking a better look at ourselves mm -hmm. and for us to become a better people become better people within this country and everywhere in the world.